sounds coming from that wall here. There's gotta be something behind it. Yep, definitely something gross behind here. Do we know anything about Lady Hellbender's demeanor? Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? Uh, that is disturbingly fragrant. After you. Uh, uh, I am clenching every orifice right now. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Uh, because it's annoying as scut. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Later. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got monster food? Your taste, but the cage! You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into that fortress with our... With our monster peacefully walking beside us, we'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Don't pet the tentacle thing. Two more thinks we can sell our monster out there if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it. Because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. an awfully nice picture. <laughs> There's no way we lose today, Quill. Come on, guys. They're not the first ones to try us, and they won't be the last. There's been a thousand before them, and they've all found out fast. Guardians don't break. But we do seem to be taking a break. Because, uh... With me. I feel Here we go. Fortunately, we are. Put him down, crew. These creatures are exceptional, just like their monster queen. This isn't a dog show, Brad. We're trying to eat us. Now, Gamora. Eat this. Well struck. That tail will no longer be a problem! Peter! Can your eyes get through that hide? Stop giving him excuses to show off! 
to me, peace! <laughs> you are coming with me. We better hurry. Ugh. First rain, then jelly, then slimy, stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Itchy fur is where I draw the line. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. <laughs> So, what do we do if all don't go well with Lady H? We're gonna fight a monster queen? You would be a formidable adversary indeed. Lady Hellbender isn't her adversary. If all goes well, she's gonna be our business partner. It's gonna go fine, right, Groot? <laughs> yeah, you being Groot is exactly the problem. of us gonna get jet boots. It takes years of special training to operate these things. You had years of jet boot lessons. No, but the guy I took them off of did. You stole them. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. Pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. Easy is rarely worth the effort. For you, maybe. I love easy. <laughs> Freeze. Whoa! Can I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas black. So if we're gonna haggle with the monster, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't get greedy? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, look. Better not forget what we're talking about. It's nothing. Don't worry, Rocket. So who's next in line for the throne if Lady Hellbender has an accident? Perhaps she is immortal. Nobody's immortal. Not even death herself. <laughs> Can't believe you just said that with a straight face. Take it down, Gamora. Snarf ain't never heard of roads. You'd have to clear parts of the jungle to do it, which would probably mean killing some of the wildlife. Good. They deserve it. Seknarf 9 is a sanctuary. They say that if you leave behind a single piece of refuse, Lady Hellbender will personally return it to you. In the most unpleasant way. That can't be true. is definitely in my top 10 fortresses. What the fuck? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship, and we owe money to the cops. Ugh. We just can't catch a break. There's always some stupid blah monster or angry space cops or... 
A random ship explosion kicking us in the teeth. And the weather always sucks. It does. I'm wet and hungry and angry, but damn it, I'm not about to lose this deal after everything we've been through. So I'm gonna march into that ridiculously awesome palace and try to sell the crap out of one of my valued team members. Because I think we've all earned that chance. I am eager to behold the Monster Queen. An infinity bridge is what it is. Ah, uh, you're being dramatic, Rodent. The bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it is not infinite. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Recycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Are you oh, right. The cage. The point of even getting the flark and things looking like we mean business. Group. You ready to squeeze in? I am. Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Maybe we're going about this the wrong way. Rock is the best escape artist I know. If things go south after the transaction, we're making the right choice. What? We voted on this. I don't feel right putting Groot in a cage. That's because it ain't right. Peter, She'll he... go for it. I think he's made his point. <laughs> Drat. Gamora, can you help me with this? No. What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> She's got you there, Quill. Now shut up and start pulling. I am Groot. Will you stop worrying so much? You're gonna start growing knots again. Okay, here we go. song or something we can sing to kill the time. Ooh, ooh, I know one. It's called... Please Stop. All right, yeah. Okay. Wait, is Please Stop the name of your song? No. Okay. So, how long before someone else wants to pull this thing? We are 60 clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. Now, there is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9, 2.1, 0 0.3 clicks, 4.5, 0 0.4 clicks, 0 0.5 clicks, 0 0.6 clicks. For the love of war, stop counting clicks. We quickly turn to the emergency response to the tweet. Why are you Thirteen whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. I'm 
Mom says Grandpa used to play this a lot when she was a kid, but it's been busted ever since I can remember. Be warm enough to spend the night in the yard soon. I love falling asleep looking at the stars, wondering what might be out there. You can get a brain parasite if you share a toothbrush. Imagine that. Something growing inside of you, slowly taking over. Well, 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 look who decided to finally come up. Where's my cake? I warned you. <laughs> no, you didn't. I'm so full. Mom. Oh. Okay, sit your butt down, Slowpoke. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I liked your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's gonna be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are gonna be falling off. Mom. On. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just 10 bucks. Dan, Andy, and I wanna go see Night of the Cosmos at the Real tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on, it's gonna be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. That was ages ago, and this one isn't even that bad. It's PG-13, and I'm 13. Exactly, PG-13 may contain violence and nudity. Mild nudity, like butts and stuff. You're not helping your case. No, I just, I, I wanted us to have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Okay, it's not that. It's it's opening night, and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop, and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I know. was- I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse.
Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. The cake looks super professional. You sure you didn't buy it? <laughs> Save the flattery, Peter. Leave that alone. I love it. And look, it even has your little handprint on it. How are you getting to the movie? Andy said his older brother would give us a ride. Make sure he brings you back too. Shoot, mom told me to put the laundry away two days ago. I'll do it first thing in the morning. Scout's honor. Hand still stings from catching mom's fastball. Wonder if she got me a new glove for my birthday. My pants didn't do much better than my eye in that fight. So what? Now you're too old for gifts? What? No. I was just looking around, remembering things. Gotta remember to give this to Andy later. You know, he was a pretty good sport about not putting the Star-Lord patch on his jacket, too. We'd have looked like complete dorks if we both had it. Will Dan and Andy be spending the night? You can all help me with the yard work in the morning. I knew there had to be a catch. Hey, Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. Mom's pretty close to winning this game. Little guy put up a big fight. Wouldn't have been able to land him without Grandpa's tricks. Man, am I glad I finally got my hair the way I like it. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. I miss them so much. Grandma used to take me into town on Sundays to run errands. We'd stop for ice cream on the way home. Even in winter. I don't know much about art, but I know that this is excellent. Grandma really had talent. Meredith Quill, perfect game, not bad. Gonna have to get Mom to show me how to shoot. Grandpa was supposed to this summer. Dan says every UFO sighting is really a weather balloon or a bright star. But there's so many of them. Couldn't a few be real? Sky's clear. Wonder if Mom will spend the night stargazing since I'm heading to the movie.
I know it sounds crazy, but mom's convinced my dad was an alien. She really believes it. Could she be right? But you ain't exactly invested in my safe return. My skin, my plan. Your call, Peter. The Clark it is. I'm the one in the box, lady. Peter Quill is our leader. The burden of your possible death falls on his shoulders. Okay. Fully on board with Rocket's plan that I was totally paying attention to. See? Even Captain Space Cadet don't trust your gymnastics. Wait, what about gymnastics? I just think we shouldn't be relying on a piece of tech you won't even be around to use. It ain't neutrinos coming. It's a tracker. Uh, even you I'm mouse figure it out. Guess we're going tracker. to find out. On you, so we can steal you back. Great idea, Rocket. Let's do this. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. I'm Groot. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Halfworld and the meanest SOB in the Quadrant. Pass. Pass? Rocket! I mean... Things puny. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. It would be wise to reconsider. Alright, get going. Before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hell beast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. I like it. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance they're the zookeepers with guns? I have never seen one of those tamed. But I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but yeah. No, it's not like she can chase after us stay. with her own monster mash. <clears throat> Oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the chance of hospital surface? Because Quill flies like a one-eyed badoon. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow. Look at this place. I'm in the wrong line of work. It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Someday, that's gonna be ours. Ha! <laughs> of yours. Come over near the cave and say that again. This place is cool and all, but could it fit the entire Guardians of the Galaxy fleet? We have a fleet. Then why must we suffer aboard such a small ship? He means... Never mind. Kaleran Skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Behold! Explained the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw the sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest heist. No! no!